Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to use some of the new updates in Cricut Design Space. There are three goals for this tutorial. One, we will look at the guides and how to use the guides in Cricut Design Space. Number two, we will look at the text box and all of the new features that came along with the text box. And number three, we will look at text wrap and all of the alignment options that you have for text wrap. So if at the end of this video, you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. So remember, I said the first goal was to look at guides in Cricut Design Space and why might you need them or how do you use them? So I'll use these tiles as an example. This is one of the tiles that I made a few months ago. I think it was during Valentine's Day. And I've actually made several of these tiles. The size of this tile is right at four by 12 and I wish I had a guide when I was making these because every time I made a tile for myself or for a friend, I would have to go in, create a template and resize it to match the size of this tile. And if I had already had a guide created in Cricut Design Space, I could just open my guide and then insert the names and that would alleviate having that additional step. I wanna show you how, um, how that looks once we get to Cricut Design Space. This is another tile that I created. This one is, I think, a three by 12. Same thing, I've made plenty of these tiles and I wish at the time of making them, I could have had a guide that I could just refer to. A lot of times we'll use guides or you've seen me use templates when I've created um, stickers for print then cut. That would be another awesome time to use a guide. Let's see what that looks like in Cricut Design Space. Let's look at guides as I explained when I was showing you my tiles. So let's say for example, I was going to create a tile and remember I said the size of one of those tiles is four by 12. I could grab a shape and in this case, I will grab a rectangle and I could go ahead. Once that rectangle opens, I can change it from a basic cut. So I'm up here at the top of my screen and I can change it to a guide. OK, and now you see it automatically changes the color to, you know, just to have an outline. And I like that already. All right. And so what I would need to do is resize the guide uh to my width of 4.0 and i'm going to click this unlock option right here and a height of well actually my width would be 12.0 and my height would be 4.0 okay so i could save this as a guide and i can actually give it a name so i could say i could grab a text box and i could say this is my four by 12 um tile and i can also change this so this is my note for myself as a reminder of what i'm doing with this so instead of this being a basic cut this would also be a guide so once i started to type in this tile so if i grabbed another text box and let's just say i wanted to type uh peter and delanda and i move this this text box up and into this, you know, into this um, tile. And I was, let's just say I was ready to, you know, go for it and I was ready to click make it. Once I click make it, if I didn't have this rectangle saved as a guide, I would have to hide the rectangle or delete it. But let's see what happens once I click make it. Okay, you see that there is no box around it. It just, it's just going to give me the option to cut out my name because my name is actually what would need to be cut and not the rectangle that was serving as my template. Okay, I'm gonna click cancel because I'm not actually cutting anything. I just wanted to show you what the guide looks like. Okay, so I can delete this, you know, our names because we're not going to use it. And I can actually save this. I can save this as four by 12 tile guide okay and i can just save it and now i have it i don't have to think about it anymore okay 
All right, so that's one way to use the guide. Another way that I could use it is, let's go to a new project. I could do the same thing for print then cut. So we know that if we're creating stickers or if I was creating stickers in the past, I would grab a shape and then I would, you know, in most cases I would grab a square, I would have to unlock it and I would change it to 6.75 by 9.25 because we know at the time of this recording, that's the largest that Cricut Design Space will allow. Now, typically I would, you know, have it just like this, and then I would have to change the color of this to white, and then I would go on and add my stickers. Well, if I change this to a guide, now it automatically changes to, again, having an outline, and then I can start to import my stickers or my images or whatever I was going to use for print, then cut. Now that we've looked at the guides, let's next look at the text box and how it looks a little bit different than what we we used to. So right now I just selected a text box. I'm just going to type a sentence. Delonda loves Aloha to craft. <laughs> and I'm going to just, you know, that's the end of my sentence. I'm going to bring the view down to right at 75% just so we can see everything on the screen. Now, you see that once I click away from the text box, I have these um, pretty much, I will consider these as guides that will help me to change the shape or to um, resize the text box. Let's look at uh, the alignment option. This is a tool that we don't really look at very often. I would definitely say I don't typically look at the alignment option when I'm working just simply with text, but let's look at it for today. Once I click this alignment option, I see that there are some differences here. So right now, my text, without me doing anything to it, it is centered in the middle. It is um, it is centered in the middle of the text box um, horizontally and vertically. And the text wrap option is off. OK, I have not turned it on. I'm going to click back over to my text box and let's just say I don't want this to be one sentence that goes all the way from left to right. I want to kind of have it more of an, um, a paragraph form. I could move these lines or this box. I can kind of minimize it and see what it does to my text. OK, if I keep moving it, I want you to see what will happen. OK, it automatically centers all of my text inside the text box. If I go back up to this alignment option, I can see that just by moving my text, the word wrap is now on. OK, even though I didn't turn it on. So it automatically defaults to being turned on to um, turning on the text wrap option just because I resize the text box. OK, so I think that's a good feature to have. Another thing I want you to pay attention to is if I resize this text box, so let's just say I just go over here to the top right corner of the text box and I just kind of drag it out. I'm just holding it down with my mouse. Um, if I start to resize this just to make it bigger, my font size changes as I resize the text box. So I'm looking right now and my font size is 76.6, but the more I, the bigger I make this box, the bigger my font will be, okay? So now my font, without me changing the font, is at 99.62 just because I'm resizing this box because the text is designed to fit nicely or centered inside the text box, okay? So same thing will happen if I, you know, bring the text box down, the size of the font will also um, come down. And I think that's also a nice feature to have. Now, let me bring the size of the text box back up because I want to show you something else. So right now, all of this text is designed is basically grouped together and is grouped together um, really just the words. Let me show you another option that we probably haven't paid very much attention to, but I want to show it to you. If I click on advanced, I can ungroup this text to lines. OK, so 
ungrouping it to lines, now it gives me three lines of text, even though this is still just one sentence, right? So I, if I wanted to move the words loves to up, I can do it by using my mouse or I could use the up arrow on my keyboard just and just hold the arrow and I can move it up just like that, okay? I wanted to move my line space. I could also just, you know, use the mouse to move it up like that. And that works by doing, uh, going to advanced and ungrouping to lines. All right. So that is the new feature with the text box. Some people were confused about what is this text box? How can I type? Where's you? So once you see the text box, all you do is just start typing. Okay. You don't have to worry about deleting the word text. If I grab another text box and I just move it, um, Let's say I move it over here. I can just click in there and just start typing. I don't have to delete anything. I can just type what I want to type. I can type, okay? And if I wanna you know, change it because now my word wrap is on, I can just move the box out to have it the way that I want it, all right? So now the last thing we are going to look at is, um, we've already pretty much looked at text wrap. One other thing I wanna look at is, um, how to rotate, how to delete, um, how to um, size and resize items, because that was another thing that we, you know, that was another change that came with this update. So let me just grab an image. Let me look for a koala. Okay. And I will grab this guy right here. I'm going to just add him to my canvas. Okay. And I'm going to delete this. I don't need any of this anymore. All right. So typically our boxes, if we, you know, had an image that we were working with, it didn't look like this. We had options to, you know, rotate, to delete, to resize and all of that. They used to be at the corners of these boxes and it doesn't look like that anymore. Now, by looking at my koala, I can see that he has four layers. That doesn't matter at this point. If I wanted to resize this koala, you know, I definitely want to keep this ratio. I would just, you know, use these lines, any of the arrows, any of the corners, I can use these corners to resize this koala. I'm not limited to just being able to resize him by looking at the top right corner. I can resize him from any of the corners on um, that surround this koala. I think they refer to this box in Cricut Design Space or Cricut refers to this box as what's called a bounding box. OK, so I'm looking at this bounding box and I know that I can, like as I said, I can resize it from any of the corners. Another thing that used to be um, an option is the option to delete it. So let's just say I had, you know, two of these koalas. Uh oh, see, I just deleted that right there. I had two of these koalas and let's just say, you know, oh, my goodness, I don't I don't want two of them. I only want one. There used to be an X right here in the top left. We don't have that anymore. So if you want to delete it, you would have to either delete from over here in the layers panel, or you can right click and you can delete, or you can just click on it and, you know, tap the delete uh, button on your keyboard. So there are multiple ways to delete, but we don't have that option on the corner of the box anymore. All right, but let's just say we wanted to rotate this koala. Let's say we wanted him to be more of at an angle. We used to only be able to do that from, I think it was the bottom right corner. Well, now you can do that from any of the corners, okay? So once I move my arrow or away from the bounding box just a little bit, so I hope you can see what's happening with the um, bottom right box, I can just kind of move him this way. Let's say, oh, you know, I think I moved them a little bit too much. I can do the same thing over here. I can turn them the other way. I'm not limited. So I think Cricut Design Space opened, you know, more possibilities by at, by taking away those limitations. So I actually like this, this new feature that is in this update. All right. So if I look here, I can also, you know, just move away a little bit from the box and you have more freedom in how you move your objects around. And it works the same way if you're working with text or with an image um, or any anything that will go inside of one of those bounding boxes. So I do think we've accomplished our goal, three goals. One goal was to look at the guides in Cricut Design Space. Let me type that out. We wanted to look at the guides and I would say we did that. Um, the second thing, let me delete my koala. We don't need him anymore. 
Let me move this up. Okay. Uh, the second thing we wanted to do was look at the text wrap options and what that looked like. I, I would definitely say we did that. And the third thing we wanted to do was look at the text box. And I definitely say we did that. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.